Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here. We're in the Shave Dan and it's time for another shave. This time I'm going to take you on a trip down memory lane and I'm going to let you know some things that I have just discovered in the last two weeks. And it all started when I, my aunt, my 85 year old aunt has moved out of her house and she's moved into a retirement living facility. And we were over there helping her move some of her furniture, some of her items. And I ended up finding in uh, one of my uncle's cabinets, some vintage aftershave. High karate, look at that. Almost full, I would say full. And Wild Country by Avon. Now, I really had no experience growing up with Avon colognes. My dad really didn't have any Avon colognes, and this one is actually, I don't know if you can see that, but this one, Wild Country, was introduced in 1967. This one is from 1996, so my uncle was continuing to use these products. And I wanted to check it out, and it smells really good. Uh, I, I went on to the site, and uh, let's see. Uh, introduced in 1967, top notes are lavender, anise, coriander, bergamot, lemon, and basil. Mid notes are uh, carnation, cedar, and uh, sandalwood. Base notes are musk, vanilla, amber, tonka bean. It just smells very good. Now, some of you are probably saying, well, what is Avon? Avon was like, uh, kind of like Mary Kay is now, but Avon... Uh, they would have salespeople going door to door, these ladies and probably gentlemen going door to door with their catalogs. And uh, they would come in and they would have samples and people would look in the catalog and place an order. And then you would get uh, the product, I don't know, a couple of weeks later, maybe a month later. Well, my dad was impatient. When he ran out of cologne, when he ran out of uh, skin bracer, he would just go and buy it. He didn't want to wait no weeks. So we really didn't have a lot of Avon products in our house. Now, one cool thing about Avon, and I do remember this, is they came in cool decanters. Example. Check out that aftershave. Near full. In the box, near full, for like $8. A little bit more than it would originally would have cost back in the old days. And it smells really good. It smells like the, the typical barbershop scent. You know, the typical scents that you would find in, in your, uh, in, you know, off, off the shelf. You know, as I said, all of those items, skin bracer, you know, all of the ones that would be off the shelf. Look at this other cool decanter. Yep, it's not a shave brush. Wild country. So what happened is I took a leap down the rabbit hole. I went to eBay and these things are relatively inexpensive. Now, one of you complained to me and you said, hey, as soon as you started doing your videos about the Sensor XL, the prices on eBay went through the roof. And that's true. Uh, you could buy an Sensor XL razor for maybe four or five bucks on eBay. And now they're at like $60, $70. So I'm not going to guarantee these things are going to stay the prices that they are. But I'm going to do a shave with them today, and we're going to try them out. And they also had, Avon also offered personalized razors, brass razors, where you could get your initials on. Now, they have a lot of these on, on eBay. But I wanted to, if I had to be stuck with someone's initials, I'd have a cool one. Coffin. It has your initials, JB. At this moment, Vala, him and me. Don't know if you can see that. There you go. JB. What's the odds, huh? What's the odds of that? So, takes a track two head. I put a new blade on it. I hope this blade works good. Very heavy razor. There was a lot of them on there, but a lot of them had initials. So people, wives for their husbands were probably buying them. And now decades later, they're selling them. Five, six bucks. But for a collection, it's just pretty awesome. I also am going to be using, this actually came in a set. This was the, uh, I think this is the leather scent. I mean, look, full, full. 
It was the scent, or you got the shave cup, you got this. Again, under 10 bucks. I mean, that's a cool shave cup. Now, I did put some uh, leather scented soap in it. I didn't have any Avon soaps. So I put some leather scented soap in it that I will be using in today's shave. And to stick with the vintage, I'm going to be doing uh, the restored Ever Ready brush. I'm going to put this in here. They have so many cool decanters. I've got a 1964 and a half Mustang coming. Full. In the box. It was probably six bucks back then. Very close to that price now, but not for long. You know, word gets out, then people start. I'm going to have some killer displays up here with some Avon products. Some killer displays. Mainly, you know, the cool decanters and everything. All right. So, I'm going to do a shave, kind of a vintage shave down memory lane. We're going to get ready, and let's get the shave started. All right, got everything out of the way. Let's wet the face. Get the old shave cup going. My, my wife... Uh, her, her parents uh, and her grandparents, they all had Avon products, and I guess they didn't mind the salespeople coming to the door. It's just something that didn't happen in my house. And she had, she said, for decades, uh, her grandfather had the wild turkey Avon decanter that had, uh, I think, the same cologne in it on his bathroom window. And uh, for a trip down memory lane, she bought one. So, <laughs> just kind of some cool items, really mainly for display purposes, but I'm telling you, the scent's not that bad. All right, I know. I should spend a lot more time. That's why I don't usually use pucks. You get a lot of soap out of it, but it's a little thinner than I'd usually like, and I probably had too much water in it. But it's thickening it up now. I had a lot of old Atra blades, but uh, I didn't have a lot of Track 2. So I did I did find, uh, you know, a Track 2 blade that I've had in the past, or a set that I've had. And I've got that blade in this razor, so I sure hope it doesn't tear my face up. I went on the site, I think I said that already, I went on the site, and they still make this, and I ended up buying two newer bottles of it, uh, you know, because uh, it really does smell cool. If you're in a hurry, you want some reasonably priced cologne, I mean, you know, aftershave, there we go. Oh man, I like the reach on this. Hear the feedback? They had the DE, uh, the double-edged decanter there, but I didn't see any double-edged razors that they sold. But uh, their catalogs are really cool, and eBay is flooded with those cool decanters right now. eBay and Etsy. Man, this gets under the nose, no issue. And after decades, that that aftershave still smells good. Even the 96 one's pretty old. And it still smells really good. I was really surprised. I go, what's this? Avon. But wet shaving will take you down a, a rabbit hole. I saw all those great priced items. They have a stoplight, a traffic light chess pieces, clocks. Back in the day, they were like seven or eight, nine bucks. And again, right now, they're still about that, but if you're watching this video 
two years from now, you can say, oh, those days are over, Ken. That stuff is expensive because it's all been picked up by collectible people who wet shave or people who shave or YouTube channels or something, and they're gone. There we go. Now this soap's feeling really good. I forgot who made this puck that I've got in here, but uh, it's leather scented and it's really nice. Did you guys have Avon? I mean, you younger guys, probably not. But uh, it just always seemed like an annoyance to me to have a salesman come into your door. And you have to look through the catalog, pick them up later. But that was mainly Christmas, right? That's what the, the wives, they got for their sons, or they got them for their graduates, they got for their husbands or grandparents. It was mainly Christmas. I bought two of those, uh, those DE razor decanters, new in the box. A lot of times the ladies or the salespeople would have uh, not only the catalog, but they might have some samples. So a lot of these samples, when people stopped, they stopped selling or for whatever reason, they just kept this stuff. And they've been around for decades, maybe in the attic or in a box somewhere. And I see a lot of it being found at estate sales, but the price is low. Oh man. I don't care for cartridge razors, but it is cool to shave with vintage ones sometimes. Just to see, just to see. First time shaving with an Avon razor. All right. And by the way, my wife does not like any of these. You know, British sterling, English leather, men in skin bracer, you know, none of them. High karate's up there, old spices up there. Because they just smell like, like she says, my grandpa. But she likes this Avon scent. And you know, Avon had a few scents, maybe three or four, maybe more. Uh, but this one, this one is endured. This one is still available today on their website. It's still available today. Not all of them are like that. I did see on their website, they have a, I don't know if it's a high end, but it's $50 for a bottle, which is generally what I would have paid for uh, some polo. But uh, I don't know how it smells. I may have to consider thinking about trying it out. Well, here we go. From my uncle's collection. Man, it does smell good. And I will, when the new bottle arrives, I'll see how it compares to this old bottle. Now that's a big opening on the top, so gotta be careful. It comes out pretty quick. Not too bad a burn. Oh man, but it does smell good. It does smell good. Now I did, when I was researching this, I was seeing if anybody else ever had done videos on uh, Wild Country. And I saw Mark, he had one from a few years ago, and he bought a few of those bottles thinking they were gonna be limited run, but maybe it was four years ago. And uh, they're still selling it on their site. So that Wild Country is still available. Now, the other ones, I'm not too sure about. But if you're thinking about something to display, you know, and uh, you want it in your shaved in or just something collectible. Dude, go to eBay and take a look. I'm telling you. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Shave went good. It sure does smell good. So that was a trip down memory lane. And it's not over for me. I'm going to be picking up a few of those different decanters. They have dozens and dozens of different types. 
but that's that 64 and a half Mustang looks really cool. And they also have other sports cars, but to find a bottle, you can find empty ones all the time, but I'm telling you just a tip, look for the box, original box. And if it's full, you can't go wrong. All right, till next time, stay safe. And thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for your subscriptions. Bye for now.